In this video lecture, we we will talk about fatty acid, its physical, chemical properties, and sources. You are watching my YouTube channel, Dr. Biochem Lectures. My name is Dr. Alam Zev. I am a professor at the Department of Biochemistry, University of Malacca. I did PhD from the Institute of Biochemistry, Graz University of Technology, Graz, Austria. The contents of this presentation include physical properties of fatty acids, chemical properties of fatty acids, and sources of fatty acids. First, physical property of fatty acids. The first property is solubility. Uh, usually, short chain fatty acids are poorly water soluble. The actual solubility depends on many factors, including pH and others too. Solubility in water decrease with increasing chain length. More or less uh, soluble in organic solvent. However, they form mycelae by layer, and liposome is shown in this picture. Uh, mesely is a single layer uh, uh, while the liposome and bilayers they are formed by the two uh, two layers the second property is melting point even carbon fatty acid uh, the melting point increases regularly with increasing chain length for example minus 8 per c4 to 90 degrees centigrade per c28 uh, you can see here uh, the C4 is minus 8, then it uh, decreases further as far as the C5 to minus 35, and then uh, up to hexadecanoic C16, that is palmitic acid, with, which has a uh, 61 degree centigrade uh, melting point. Uh, introduction of double bond lowers the melting point. Uh, of the fatty acid. Similarly, cis isomers uh, also lower, uh, has a lower melting point than trans. You can see the palmitic acid has a melting point of zero. Oleic acid is uh, higher to 13 degrees centigrade. Linoleic acid uh, has a lower minus 5 and so on. Unsaturated fatty acid versus unsaturated fatty acid. In this figure, you can see the increase in the chain length with the increase of the uh, carbon chain while you can see the oleic acid linoleic acid is a lower boiling point no, melting points now the boiling point of the fatty acid is another property boiling point of saturated fatty acid increase regularly with increasing chain length methyl ester has 20 degree less than that of the respective fatty acid you can see here myristic acid and it's uh, 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 fame and then palmitic acid and so on. The next property is absorption spectra. Uh, carboxylic acid group absorb light in short uh, ultraviolet light. Conjugated double bonds show more absorption at the higher wavelengths in UV region. Uh, this absorption spectra is important in analytical procedures, especially the analytical measurement. You can see here the 210 represent, nanometer represent the uh, um, uh, normal chain. Now the chemical properties of fatty acid. Chemical properties of the fatty acid are based on mostly on the carboxylic acid groups. Uh, you can see here the uh, the carboxylic acid group of the fatty acid, uh, and also it is based on the double bond in aliphatic chain. Uh, for example, uh, the hydrogenation, halogenation, these reactions are based on the double bond. The first reaction is esterification. Fatty acid react with alcohol to form ester and water in the presence of concentrated H2SO4 or anhydrous HCl. Uh, and you can see in this reaction fatty acid react with alcohol in the presence of acid in heat and form ester and water. Uh, this is the typical example. So the R group can be at uh, any chain length. 
Uh, enter esterification is the formation at the new ester when an ester reacts with alcohol uh, we say in the presence of we say. The next reaction is salt formation. Uh, salt are forms, uh, fatty acid usually forms salts with the basis upon direct reaction. Uh, saponification is the base catalyzed hydrolysis of an ester. The product of the reaction uh, are usually includes alcohol and ionized salt, which is usually called soap. You can see in this reaction, each react with the base and then it forms a sodium salt of carboxylic acid or sodium salt of fatty acid and alcohol. Uh, remember, soap have a long uncharged hydrocarbon tail. Uh, it also have a negatively charged carboxylate group at the end. It forms massively that dissolve oil and dirt particles. Uh, you can see here this formation of the soap. Uh, uh, it is important to know that um, soap is not very good in cleaning up the clothes. So it's not very good that's why we use usually used detergent the next reaction is detergent formation Det detergent is usually called surfactant they have cleaning properties in dilute solution so they are more active uh, catalytic they are usually formed by the catalytic reduction of carboxylic acid group which produce alkyl alcohol which can be sulfated or sulfo sulfonated. In this reaction, you can see the fatty acid is reduced to alkyl alcohol and then so, um, so in the presence of uh, sulfonate or sulfate, uh, it forms uh, alkyl sulfonate in alkyl sulfate. And uh, these alkyl sulfate in alkyl sulfonate are known as detergents. These detergents are more reactive as compared to uh, the soap. You can see here there are some examples of the uh, detergent present in the Pakistani market. Next reaction is hydrogenation. Uh, the double bond or it ethylenic bond is easily saturated with hydrogen. Methyl ester or uh, the glyceride is treated with hydrogen in the presence of a catalyst like nickel, platinum, palladium, and copper at higher temperature. In this reaction, you can see the double bond of the polyunsaturated fatty acid upon hydrogenation is saturated to form. This is a very common reaction for the formation of uh, conversion of oil to ghee in industry. And in this case, you can see this tank, which is uh, the hydrogen and nickel catalyst are entered. And uh, with this mix mixing process, uh, the ghee or formed. Next reaction is halogenation. Ethylenic bond under mild condition readily add halogens. The order of reactivity is fluorine, chlor then chlorine, then bromine, and then iodine. Iodine monochloride or iodine monobromide are usually used for halogenation purposes, oleic acid. And the bromine on the same side, we call it ethroform. Well, Elidic acid, uh, bromine, the opposite side, so we call it uh, triopalm. The polybromo derivative of polyunsaturated fatty acid are often insoluble in water. They are used for quantitative evaluation of the degree of unsaturation in lipids. Next is oxidation. Oxidation of fatty acids is carried out by several means. Uh, usually, saturated fatty acid are relatively stable as compared to unsaturated, uh, which are readily oxidized at low temperature. Um, uh, fatty acid forms several types of products, which include hydroxide, epoxide, ketones, uh, keto hydroxide, epoxide, epoxy, epidioxide, and several more. You can see some of the uh, example in diol peroxide. Uh, hydroxide and epoxide in this picture. Uh, these are usually called primary oxidation product, which produce uh, uh, upon further oxidation from secondary oxidation product. Uh, 
Uh, further oxidation yield usually yield only higher in ketones, which results into the rancidity and up level of the product. So usually uh, the, the type of um, product that we uh, have rancidity. Uh, you can see the details uh, in my book. It's chapter number four. The title of the chapter is Chemistry of Prime Medium. Um, uh, this book has a title Food Frying Chemistry Biochemistry in Safety, which, which was published by Jan Williams UK in 2019. So you can detail, see the detail on that picture. Now, sources of saturated fatty acid. Saturated fatty acid are present in red meat, beef, lamb, pork, chicken, skin, whole fat dairy, and dairy products like milk, cream, and cheese, butter, ice cream, lard, coconut, and palm oil. Uh, here you can see some some of the, the, the food products uh, which contain saturated fatty acids. So we need to know uh, at least to have some idea about the food that contains saturated fatty acid. Now sources of unsaturated fatty acids: uh, avocados in avocados oil, olives in olive oil, peanuts butter and peanut oil. Vegetable oils such as sunflower oil, corn oil, or canola oil, uh, fatty fish such as salmon and mackerel, nuts and seeds such as almond, peanuts, cashew, and sesame seeds. Uh, you can see in this picture uh, some of the food that contain uh, unsaturated. Uh, fatty acids. 